Daisy says, gay rights. Hi, baby. And Triumph slash Daffy says, I'm just going to stay under here for a little bit. What are you doing? Are you watching the bumblebees, little miss? Hello. Hello, Miss Daisy. What are you, what are you up to? Yeah? Okay. And how are you doing, Miss Daffodil? Oh, big yawn. All right, good talk. Hey, Daisy, care to explain why your farts smell so bad? I have to get up and check to see if there's poop on the floor. All right, well, gay rights. Hey, Ethan. Yeah. What do you think about the dogs? They're adorable, but a handful. What are you doing? Play vlog. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. Oh. oh, why doesn't she like you? I think it's just because I come out with a different shirt on and she doesn't recognize me or something. I don't know. It do be like that. Oh, she's just loud. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> she was stepping on your titty for a second. She was indeed stepping on my titty. Bobby, you saw some of my titties. <laughs> okay. Well, basically, we adopted two puppies during quarantine. They were from rescue. <laughs> and um, as you can see, they get along very well. They um, are obviously not related. They're not from the same litter at all. They're two completely different kinds of dogs. Um, but they had to be adopted as a bonded pair because they kind of got attached to each other in their foster home together. But um, Daisy is, I mean, they're both mutts, but Daisy is um, 11 weeks old now. And we think that she's like a Jack Russell Terrier boxer mix. I don't know. I Googled that and it, it looked like her. So, um, and Daffodil, her name was Triumph, um, from the woman that rescued her. But we decided to rename her, um, to Daffodil to keep with the flower theme, Daisy and Daffodil and call her Daffy for nickname. She is four months old and probably like a border collie lab mix of some sort um and they were both malnourished and miss daisy was left in a ditch to die with some of her litter mates and i don't know too much about where miss daffodil came from but she was really malnourished and had rickets um and she's a very anxious little pup so that first clip of her hiding under the table that is where she pretty much stayed for the majority of the first three or four days that we had them. Um, she likes to hide. She's like hyper vigilant. Um, but now it is, it's been seven days. We got them last Tuesday and it is Tuesday again. And she's doing very well. She uh, <laughs> is chewing on her harness, which is not good. We're not gonna chew on that. Do you guys want a toy to play with instead? I'll get that in a second. There aren't any immediately on the ground in front of me. Um, but they, they've been playing and they like to fight over toys. Um, and Daisy is like totally cuddly, energetic. You wouldn't know she had almost died at all. Um, who is, where's mom home? My mom's home. Uh, hello, welcome to the plague vlog. The what? The plague vlog? Hi, plague yeah. vlog. Daisy. She boof. Daffy, what's up? Basically, Daisy is super playful and has gotten little Miss out of her hiding place. She's been coming outside 
and sitting on the couch with us. And she went and hid under the deck for a bit this morning. But then she came out on her own. I think she thought she was stuck because we have her in this harness because we don't have a collar for her yet. We need something to attach a leash to. Um, I think she thought she was stuck because the top edge of the harness kept sticking. Yes, my jeans did come. Thank you for noticing, Jennifer. <laughs> I love them so much. They look cute on you. I love them so Show much. Show this. This is adorable. This is, this is a little daisy girl. And she is the cutest little face I've ever seen. <laughs> in my life. In my life. I love you so much. Though she be but little, she is stinky. stinky.